In this video, we will be looking into the gang war between the Wood Church and Ford gangs in Wirral, the dispute left blood pouring on the streets of Wirral, with well over a dozen gun attacks by both sides in recent years. Both sides have access to Scorpion submachine guns. The first victim of a Scorpion submachine gun in Wirral was Lewis Chapman. He was shot at but survived. A member from the Ford gang had attempted to take him out. Lewis has been served a gang injunction by Merseyside Police. He's the brother of gangland enforcer Connor Chapman. Let's dive into the murky world of Connor and the second use of a Scorpion firearm on the streets of Wirral. Connor Chapman was jailed for murder after a botched Christmas Eve hit on rivals ended his reign over Wirral. Connor's intended targets were rivals from the Ford. They were Kieran Sorks and Jake Duffy. It didn't go according to plan. An innocent life was taken instead. Al Edwards, 26, was struck by two stray rounds and sadly passed away at the scene. There was nothing more that could be done to save her. Her death was the third death as a result of a scorpion firearm. In Merseyside, Sam Rimmer and Ashley Dale had also been murdered using the same type of gun just months before Chapman opened fire. Connor Chapman was jailed for life with a minimum term of 48 years for the murder of L. Edwards. Wood Church gang member John Lewis was jailed for his role in the organization. Alongside the Chapman brothers, Lewis had operated an encroacher graft, which supplied his gang all the drugs they needed. He was said to have been in discussions with other encroacher users involving drug supply and firearms. Although there wasn't enough evidence to charge him gun trafficking, he received extra time behind bars on top of drug offences for a shooting that took place at 4.10pm on Tuesday, the 26th of November, 2019 on Borough Road. He had fired rounds at a target who was in a car with his girlfriend. He was wounded but survived. Connor Chapman was there but wasn't charged for the offence as there wasn't enough evidence. John Lewis was jailed for 24 years. Now we'll take a quick look into some members of the Ford gang. Kieran Salt and Jake Duffy were supposed to be killed on the night of Christmas Eve 2022, but it didn't go to plan as stated earlier. They had become top targets of the Wood Church gang. They had simply crossed the line. Duffy and Salt stole items, probably drugs, from the home of the mother of the Chapman brothers. This had enraged Connor, plus his brother, and one of his friends was shot at previously. Another man associated with Chapman, Sam Serson, was also attacked just days before Chapman retaliated on his enemies. The Ford gang are believed to have shot multiple members of the Wood Church-based organized crime group over the years. The weapons used are described as Glocks and a Scorpion. A member of the Wood Church named Curtis Byrne was blasted by a Glock 8 p.m. on Saturday, December 3, 2022. The Wood Church had also opened fire multiple times on rival members. Gun crime was reported all over Birkenhead on a monthly basis. At some times, multiple incidents would take place in quick succession, such as suspected gangland incidents at the Arrow Park pub. Two incidents of gun crime were reported there. Three men were shot at on Wednesday, the 8th of June 2022, at round 6.45 p.m. A man is still wanted by Merseyside police for that incident. At round 5.50 p.m., the 27th of June. Three armed men ran into the Arrow Park pub searching for a man. A 17-year-old male was shot at on the Beachwood Estate, the home of the Ford gang, Wednesday, the 11th of May, 2022, at around 10. 40 p.m. He was taken to Arrow Park Hospital with a gunshot wound to his leg. The bloodshed is set to keep coming over the next decade, with more gangs moving into the areas. The Wood Church and Ford gangs are still in operations. Despite key members being brought down, this video was created by Original Blaze Daily. Thanks for watching.